everyone, it's Kim again. I am coming at you today with a new recipe that I had seen on Facebook. So I will link that recipe below. And what we have here today are four ingredients. And these four ingredients are going to make up Samoa apple slices. They looked really good. It reminded me of the Samoa cookies from you know who. And I thought we would give them a try. So I have not tried these before. Um, we're just gonna make it and see how they turn out and give it a taste at the end and hopefully they're good. So I'm gonna grab a couple of things here real quick and I'll come right back. Okay, um, we are back and ready to roll. So I thought I would tell you something funny. I was kind of chuckling over here to myself. Um, I'm thinking, wow, I'm gonna need an apple core. And I didn't think I had one. And I know that me being the so-called gadget queen, um, you would think that would be one tool that I would have. So I was kind of laughing as I ran across a apple core in my drawer that I don't think I've ever even used. So this ought to be funny. So I think what we're supposed to do is core it before you slice it. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. And again, like I said, this might be pretty funny because I don't think I've ever done this before. So I don't know which end we're supposed to do that with, but we're just gonna go ahead and give it a try. And I guess if we have to cut some more out, we can do that. Well, that was pretty simple. Check that out. I think I need a Another little section done. Looks like there's a couple of, maybe I didn't center it properly. So we'll go back in one more time. And I think we've got it. Anything else we'll just get with a knife. All right. Well, that's pretty simple. Maybe I should use that more often. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these apples into slices. And it's funny because they're going to actually look like the Samoa cookies as we put them together. Two more slices here. All right, we've got there. Now, um, the recipe that I'm following suggested that we use the Granny Smith apples. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put together our coconut and our caramel. So what I'm using here today is I have some organic unsweetened flaked coconut and I just happened to be at Trader Joe's so I picked it up. So we're gonna mix up one tablespoon of the coconut. I really hope I like this because I don't know what else to use this coconut for. So one tablespoon, we're gonna go ahead and measure that out and throw that in a little bowl, which I probably don't have in the line of the camera there. And then I'm gonna take a, another measuring spoon and I'm gonna spray that with cooking spray because that will keep the, um, the syrups, the caramel and the chocolate from sticking. So we're gonna go ahead and pour out one tablespoon of the caramel. Now, if you haven't tried this caramel sauce before, um, go ahead and pick that up. It's really, really good. And you can try it on like a, just a variety of desserts or even maybe even drizzle it over those donuts we're always making. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And see, almost all of it comes out that way. I'm gonna grab a spoon. and give that a quick stir. I think I might also need a knife to be able to spread that out a little better. Maybe I'll grab that too. Might be a little easier. So we're gonna go ahead and start to put this mixture 
and again, it just looks like this, onto some of these apple slices. I don't know how far it would go, but we'll see. Um, I think the original recipe called for larger quantities, but I wanted to keep the super low in points. So I was just making a smaller amount, and if I don't cover all the apples, I don't cover all the apples, I'll just eat those normal. So the measurements that I'm using today are going to be one tablespoon of the coconut, one tablespoon of the caramel, and one tablespoon of the chocolate syrup. And each of those are gonna come out to be one point each. So you're gonna have a three point dessert here. I don't know if I should be more liberal. Or, ooh, that is good. I had some on my finger and I'm the only one eating this so I went ahead and had a little try. So we're gonna throw that on there. This is going quite a bit further than I thought it would. Um, I guess if you really wanted to you could just dump it all on one or two slices and just go with that. But I think this is gonna be good. I think I have just enough for one more. Throw that on this one. How's that looking to you so far? I know my mouth is watering because this smells absolutely delicious. Just the combination of the coconut and the caramel is just delicious. Next up, I have the Smucker's Sugar-Free Chocolate. Again, one tablespoon, one point. And I think with the Weight Watcher math, I think if you're using two tablespoons, I think it's three points. So that is gonna jump up and add an extra point there for you. So we're gonna go ahead and measure out one tablespoon of this. And I did pull these out of my fridge. So they are a little cold. I'm gonna have to set this down and use two hands, hopefully. I could get that in the camera. There. It's actually quite a bit. That looks good. Now what I think I'm gonna do, to hold tight people, I'm going to figure out a way to prop this up and I'm gonna throw it in my microwave just for a second. So stay tuned, I'll come back to you. Okay, I did six seconds in the microwave and I think that that will do the trick. Hopefully you can see. A little better. All right, I'm just gonna grab some of this out and start to drizzle this. Okay, maybe I need to work on my drizzling skills, but this will totally work. Definitely want to try to get a little bit on each of these. And again, play with the measurements. Um, if you want more chocolate, Add in the two tablespoons of chocolate and make this a five point dessert. Or double up a couple other items and share with a friend. Um, I'm not sharing with anybody. I'm gonna eat this all myself. So that looks good. A little bit more. All right, let me set these aside and then I'll give this a try. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. I'm gonna grab this one over here because that one looks good. And oh my goodness. This is so good. Definitely use the um, Granny Smith apples because it gives you that, that tartness with the sweetness of the other ingredients. Okay, this is totally gonna to be a winner. You guys need to make this. Go buy these couple of ingredients and make this for yourself. It is delicious. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and have those ready for the beginning of the video. And you all have a great day. Um, I'll come back at you 
If you like this video, please like it and share it. And please subscribe to my channel and I'll have more coming your way. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.